Hi, my name is Jay Oza. I teach, mentor, and coach people on public speaking so that they can get winning high stakes speeches, whether it's one on one in a job interview or in a small group at a business meeting or before a large crowd at a conference. Since we're starting the new year 2017, I was working on my goals and I thought I'd share about what I'm doing this year, which is going to be a little different than what I've done in the past. The past, just like other people, I write down my goals, but at the end of the year, I look at them and some of them I'm kind of disappointed, some of them I'm kind of happy. And so this year I said, okay, I want to focus on doing simple things every day that will result in something. And that something is the goal that people write, but I'm not going to focus on that. If what I do on every day, then that will take care of it. But I don't want to be driven by that, the goals, like I have to make this much money, I have to do read 50 books, and if I fall one short, I don't want to be disappointed. So I'm not going to do that. I don't want the goals to dictate my life. I want every day what I do should result in something. So it's kind of a different way of looking at it. So I came up with five simple things that if I focus on these seven things will lead to something. I don't know what, I haven't written it down, but I have written down these seven things that I want to share with you. And they're so simple and basic that I believe if I focus on these things, then good things are going to happen. The first one, the most simplest of all, is breathing. I know it sounds simple, but this is something we do the most. But I have never focused on my breath. And I'm going to really, really focus on my breath. Because I believe the way you breathe helps you with other things as far as how peaceful you are, how well you think, how well you can reduce your stress. And in my case, uh, what I do is uh, public speaking, how well you speak. So one of the things that I really want to focus on this year, the top priority, is my breath. Because I believe that if you're not focusing on your breath, then your amygdala will control your breath and you'll not be able to control your thoughts. So the one thing I want to get control over is my breathing. So that if I'm in a stressful situation and my amygdala starts taking over, I can use my breath or my breathing to get control of my thoughts and my brain. I can directly let my neocortex dictate what I do rather than my amygdala making that quick decision without thinking about it. So I don't want to go into too much detail. I'll record a video later on once I start making some progress in that. But I think breathing is going to be my top priority where in the office I'm going to focus on my breath. In the morning I'll focus on my breath. In the evening before I go to sleep I'll focus on the breath. In the beginning I know it's going to be difficult since I haven't really done this. So it'll take a while before I start making progress, but this is my top priority, breathing. Because I think if I can breathe well in all different situations, a lot of good things are going to happen on how I think, how I feel, and even how I speak, and how other people perceive me. Breathing, number one priority for me this year. The second one is thinking. What I do requires a lot of thinking. Now, I'm not going to put down, I have to read 10 books, 100 books, because thinking to me means the sources could be anything. It could be talking to people, even recording a video, reading a book, listening to a podcast, watching a movie, anything. But at the end of it, I have to be thinking about something. Because if I'm not thinking, then I am taking somebody's thought and package thought, I should say. 
I don't mind taking somebody's thought as long as it's well organized, but I need to understand whether it's well thought out. But what happens is that if I'm not making this my second top priority, then I'm more likely to take other people's package thought and parrot it and not even know what I'm really even saying. It's kind of the illusion of knowledge is what I'm trying to get away from. So I don't want to watch a show, let's say, on TV and they have a packaged opinion, but it makes no sense. So I'll give you an example. People talk about the economy being bad, economy being bad. People are looking for uh, jobs. That is just not true. There are plenty of jobs out there. The real problem is not jobs, it's wages. Now, if you watch a television program, they're never going to say that. They're going to say, people are looking for jobs, people are looking for jobs. People are looking for high paying jobs. And you can't get high paying jobs unless you've got some real marketable skills that people are willing to pay for. That's a different animal altogether. But the media will never focus on that. So all of a sudden you think like, oh my God, the economy is bad. The economy, everything is collapsing. It's not collapsing. You just look around. There are always signs out there people are looking to hire, but they're not going to pay you well unless you've got real marketable skills. And that's just a quick example about thinking. I'm going to spend a lot of time making sure that I am coming up with my thoughts and I can take it from different sources, but they'll be mine. You may not agree with it, but they'll be mine. Okay, so the third thing then is uh, obviously what I'm doing right now, speaking. So this is part of it. One of the things I do is I teach, I mentor, and I coach. So speaking is going to be very important. But even if I wasn't doing that, for me it's important as far as my business is concerned because this is what I, how I generate income. But also when I'm speaking to people one-on-one, -on -one, when I'm speaking in a, in, a, in a small group, or if I'm speaking in front of a large audience, whether it's paid or non-paid. So if you are me, even if this is not the way your core expertise or you're focusing on, you should still be focusing on these the speaking. Because the way you speak will determine your success. And in my case, I teach people that. So for me, this is very important. Not only that I have to speak well, but I have to learn from it so that I can teach others, mentor, and coach. Okay, so speaking to me is very important. So this is my number third. So the first one was breathing, second one was thinking, and the third one, obviously, is speaking. The fourth one is a physical one. And what I do for this is something very simple. I go for a walk for three and a half miles. That takes about an hour, and that's it. I don't go to the gym. I stop going to the gym. I don't do any weightlifting or any of that kind of stuff because I looked at it and said, well, what am I really doing every day? I'm not a, an athlete. I don't play football. I don't play golf anymore. What I really need to do is I need to be able to walk for an hour uh, on a cross-country trail. So that's not that simple either. It's got hills and stuff. And if I can do that, I'm happy. I don't need to do more than that. And I use that walk to listen to a podcast or an audio book and also gives me an opportunity to also do thinking part. So I take care of many things with that one uh, activity. So walking is my physical part and I do this every day. I've been doing this for a while now, but it'll continue in 2017, walking. Okay, the fifth one is eating. And here I have some work to do. As you can see, I do need to lose some weight and I have been kind of negligent in 2016. Hopefully in 2017, I'll be more focused on not only eating well, I think I kind of do that, but I do have a sweet tooth, and I do tend to eat a lot of sugary foods often. Got to eliminate that completely or reduce it. But I think one of my main problem is that when I'm eating, I, my portion control is not right. So I have to work on limiting my portion control. And I think if I can do that, and also at night when your willpower is low, I tend to eat a lot of junk food at that time. I believe that if I can control my time from, let's say, 7 o'clock at night till 9 o'clock and not put anything in my mouth from 7 to 9, I think I'll be able to lose quite a bit of pounds. That's what I believe. So I have to work on that. 
So eating well is fine, but also reducing the portion control and be cognizant of what I'm putting in my mouth. Is it helping or hurting? So I have to focus on that. So eating is gonna be a very important part of my 2017 theme. Then the sixth one is learning. We are living in a, uh, a society where you're only as good as how fast you can learn. So I will be taking courses, I will be reading books with the intention of learning some new skill. So the skills that I have, I need to strengthen those skills. Then some of them I'll be developing. It's like a work in progress and some of them I'll be taking on. So sort of like the, the one that I'm already am pretty good at and make sure that I remain good at that. The one that I'm currently been working on and the one that I'll take on some new skills. Okay, so, so learning is gonna be very important. And just to give you uh, an example, the skill I believe I'm pretty good at is obviously speaking, but I'm not gonna rest on that. I'm gonna keep on getting better at it. And the other skill that I think I'm pretty good at that I need to keep on getting better at it is writing. I've been now writing consistently since uh, 2011 but writing is like an ongoing thing, so I'll continue doing that. And then the skill that I need to, that I'm working on right now, is trying to get this uh, book that I'm working on published. So that's like an ongoing skill. And the skill that I need to really take on for 2017, that's gonna be important, is marketing. So marketing is gonna be the new skill that I'm gonna be really focusing on for 2017, because that's gonna directly be tied to my ability to generate income. Okay, so you got the idea. So learning is gonna be, and that is just not bad. Learning means other things too, such as uh, 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 tips and techniques, uh, history, you name it. So learning has a, but these are some of the ideas that I have on what I need to focus on 2017 because I tend to read classics, I tend to read a lot of other things and get those ideas and incorporate that. And that brings up to my last item, is writing. Writing to me is very important because that's when you can take time. It's a craft, right? It's something you have to constantly work on. But what writing does to me is that it helps me think better. Because part of my uh, speaking uh, success is directly tied to how well I write. Because first I need to really write it down so I can really think about it. Once I have written down, now I might not use it as a script, but at least I have given a lot of thought to it and I put it in writing so that when I'm speaking I can speak really freely and tend to engage and connect better with you and that's what I've kind of done I have a whiteboard here which you can't see and I've just written down these seven items you know br br breathing thinking speaking walking eating learning writing and so these are the seven themes that I'm going to be focusing on 2017 now, these are not granular. These are something that I have to really do every day. So these are not like, what, what am I going to do three months from now, the end of the year? I believe if I take care of these seven things, <coughs> recurring themes, then a lot of good things are going to happen. They have to, right? Because there's a lot of work here. So this is what I'm going to focus on. So I just wanted to kind of share this with you because I know when 2017, every year, beginning of the year, people are like, busy working on their goals, like, I want to do this, I want to do that. I think a lot of times it's time consuming. And I don't want it to be an, another task that I have to do. I'm trying to make my life simple. So I decided I'm not going to really put down these type of goals. I'm just going to focus on these themes that I need to improve almost every day. I need to breathe better every day. I need to think better every day. I need to speak better every day. I need to walk better. I need to walk more consistently, eat better, learn more, and write more. This is what I hope to do in 2017. Let me know what you think, and thank you for watching, and I hope you come up with something similar like this, and, uh, and stick to it on a daily basis. And I believe if you do that, you're gonna be successful. If not, you'll still be happy, because this is what you can do every day anyway. Okay, thank you for watching, and good luck in 2017.